City wants to ban cruise ships amid overwhelming tourist overrun. NY Post. They're giving a stern warning. Below are your comments. I'm originally from Alaska, and here is a big part of the problem. It's not tourists just coming to visit and appreciate the towns. It's giant tour companies owning a monopoly that is the problem. They bring them in on the company's ships. They then put them on the same company's tour buses. They s. see more. Well, I can remember when the cruise ships were welcomed, but that was back when people were corteo. Us and respectful of the communities they were visiting. Reading far more articles about communities fed up with rude tourists. Not just off cruise ships either. I can see both sides of this. There is no doubt that cruise ship passengers are critical to the economic health of a city like Jun. Oh so there is no way they can curtail those visits much without causing serious economic pain. That said, having several thousand boers wandering around all day every day can be a major pain to T. Hoes who live there and appreciate the incredible natural beauty they live near. This seems a pretty reasonable solution, and also a creative one, as Juno is more than a day's sigh. L from anywhere that large cruise ships depart from, likely very little Saturday traffic anyway. Dot. As a 45-year resident of Juno, I had no problem with mass tourism, at first. I didn't have a problem when we had 500,000 visitors, or 1 million visitors. Now, we're up to 1.65 million visitors and it's getting to be too much. Sure, we enjoy tourist dollars, but I think there's a limit to what is truly sustainable. The amount of traffic in the summer can be daunting, you don't want to go downtown for months due to crowds, your favorite fishing holes are taken by 7 a.m. by sport fishing guides. The tourist season used to start around Memorial Day and go until Labor Day. The season is now from April into October. At some point, the quality of life has to be considered for those who live here year-round. The business community makes it sound as if the economy will crash with some limits. It didn't crash when it was 1.5 million people so why is it going to crash now? And no, we don't hate tourists, we just want to be able to manage them. Carving out one holiday every summer, and one day out of seven during the summer, is hardly going to Rui. End tourism. The tour companies will just adjust their schedules to avoid those days. Easy peasy. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.